Hey guys, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. What I'm about to show you is the most broken sniper rifle in the game. It is able to do headshots of, yeah, that much. A critical headshot of over 500,000 damage. That is a one-shot kill for pretty much everything in the entire game. And it's not like it's an unfrequent thing. It is a smart rifle, so you can always guarantee yourself these crazy headshots. All you have to do is aim towards the upper half of an enemy's face, like until they have like that red kind of rectangle or the red square around their head, and you just click the button. You can even shoot them in the body and they're still gonna die. Even body shots do around just under 100k damage, which is still an insta kill for most of these enemies. I mean, most of these enemies' health bars at the end game are only around like 10,000 health, maybe just a little bit more than that sometimes. <laughs> you can just do this, dude. I'm going to show you where exactly to get this gun. This is a crafted gun, so you are going to need crafting to actually make this gun. It is a legendary sniper rifle, smart sniper rifle. That is capable of doing massive damage, and I'll show you the weapon right now, what mods I'm using on it, and exactly the setup of how it works. So let's go right into my inventory and go look at this beauty of a gun, the sniper rifle over here. So we're going to go straight here. My sniper rifle is in the middle here. You can see it does 1,119 DPS damage per second. It is a smart rifle. Now what you need to know about this weapon is that it has a high crit chance and a high crit damage and also a 6.2 headshot damage multiplier. Dude, it is a massively broken gun if you get headshots. 6.2 times headshot multiplier with the critical chance and critical damage dude and also the mods I'm using add a lot of critical chance on it on top of that which means that I'm like always gonna hit a crit and I'm gonna do massive critical damage like insane amounts dude. it's like it's physically mental how this gun works so first you need to find where the gun's schematic is located so that you are able to craft it. And it's located at the top of the map here in Watson Kabuki. And if you go towards this bridge area over here, right now I've done most of the stuff on my map. I'm still trying to complete everything. But the mission you will be doing is a blue one located right over here. And it's located in a briefcase around at the top floor. And once you get the schematic, here it is in your crafting section and you'll be able to craft it. It doesn't actually cost too much to make. And I've only upgraded mine once. So it's not like I've upgraded like a hundred times. I think the reason why mine's damage is so high is because I got like that physical damage increase to my actual weapon. It is the Ashura sniper rifle and it is so broken, dude. It's so easy to craft and it's just... Dude, th this weapon is a beast, but to be able to craft it, you have to kind of put some points into your crafting. You do need 18 attribute points in your technical ability because you need this Edge Runner Artisan perk over here on the right side. It will only unlock once you have 18 technical ability. But once you get that, you pretty much have the best gun in the game and you're able to kill everything. So, I mean, it's kind of worth it. I mean, I really went for an assault rifle build and then I found the sniper rifle and I was like, <laughs> dude, what? Critical damage and critical hit chance are like two of the stats that you need on every single gun in this game because you will just be popping off like, dude, like you don't even believe it. Like it's just get this gun for yourself and play with it because it is, it is nuts. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like on it if you did and I'll see you guys in a future one. Thank you so much for watching.